Hello and welcome to this session. In this session we will discuss the concepts of amplitude, period and midline from graphs of periodic functions. Now we know a function is called a periodic function if there is a number A such that f of x is equal to f of x plus a for all x in the domain of the function now the least positive value of a for which f of x is equal to f of x plus a is called the period of a function and now we will discuss a real life situation which has a characteristic of a periodic function now when you take a ferris wheel ride you move up and down and again up and down many times with time you may be at a height of 4 feet above ground in 4 seconds or 10 feet in 10 seconds and so on. It means you oscillate between the maximum height and the lowest height at different times. Now if a ferris wheel takes 10 rounds in a given time then you will reach maximum height 10 times and minimum height 10 times. So, as you ride a ferris wheel, the height you are above the ground varies periodically as a function of time. Now consider the height of the center of the ferris wheel to be the starting point let a particular wheel has the diameter of 38 feet and travels at a rate of 4 revolutions per minute. Now suppose you note the height where you have reached in t minutes and plot the graph. Now since height reached depends on time, so we will take time t on horizontal axis and height h on vertical axis. So we get the following graph. Since center of this ferris wheel is considered as starting point, so when time t is 0, the height h is also 0. And since diameter of this wheel is 38 feet, so 19 feet will lie above the center and 19 feet will lie below the center of the ferris wheel. So maximum height reached from starting point that is 0 is 19 feet. This means 19 feet above the starting point that is 0 and minimum height is 19 feet below the starting point 0. Also, this graph is oscillatory. And here we can see the maximum and minimum height reached is repeated several times. And now let us see what is a period. Now from the graph you can see in the time period 0 to 15 the height reached is not repeated. At 15 we have again reached the starting point that is 0 and after that we can see 
that the height is repeated. So here the period is of 15 seconds in which no repetition of height is there. It means after 15 seconds the cycle is repeated. So in a graph of a periodic function the length of one cycle gives us the period of function. Now we can also find the period from verbal description. Here we are given that V takes four revolutions in one minute. So, after one revolution, the curve repeats. So, time taken for one revolution is equal to 1 by 4 of 1 minute, that is 1 by 4 into 1 minute which is equal to 1 by 4 into, now 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. And we know that 4 into 15 is 60. So this is equal to 15 seconds. So time taken for one revolution is equal to 15 seconds. Now let us discuss what is a midline. Now midline is the horizontal line drawn at the central value of the function. Now here this horizontal line is called midline of the function and it is that line about which the function oscillates above and below equally. Now in this graph of Ferris wheel, the middle line is drawn at the central level which is taken when h is equal to 0. Now make line is also called axis of oscillation or principal axis now we can also use formula for finding the point from where midline is drawn and here midline is equal to maximum point plus minimum point whole upon 2 now, in this case of Ferris wheel, midline is equal to maximum point. Now here, maximum point is 19 feet above 0. So we will take it as plus 19 plus of minimum point. Now here, minimum point is 19 feet below the starting point. So we will take it as minus 19 whole upon 2 and this is equal to 19 minus 19 whole upon 2 which is equal to 0 upon 2 and this is equal to 0. So here horizontal line is drawn at h is equal to 0. Now let us see what is amplitude. Now amplitude is the distance between the maximum height or minimum height and the midline. Now in this graph of Ferris wheel you can see the maximum height is when h is equal to 19 
and net value is at x is equal to 0. Now the difference is equal to 90 minus 0 which is equal to 90. So it means amplitude is equal to 19. Now we can also use the following formula for finding the amplitude. Amplitude is equal to maximum point minus minimum point per upon 2. Now we know that in this case maximum point is plus 19 and minimum point is minus 19. So putting the values amplitude is equal to plus 19 minus of minus 19 whole upon 2 which is equal to 19 plus 19 whole upon 2 and this is equal to 38 upon 2 which is equal to 19. So amplitude is equal to 19. Now amplitude is always positive. If you get negative value then always take absolute value of amplitude. Thus, periodic functions have a curve similar to waves and is called sinusoidal curve. Now here, the following graph shows the related concepts of periodic function. Here we have the maximum point and the minimum point. Then we have the midline, that is the line about which the function oscillates above and below equally. Then we have amplitude, which is the distance between the midline and maximum point or minimum point. And then period, that is length of one complete cycle which repeats itself after the same period or interval. So in this fashion we have learnt about related concepts of periodic function. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.